Hello to the video from Darkside and welcome back to our video. We are back playing Dead Cells and last video we actually got the second boss cell, which... No, not that way. That way, there we go. Two boss stem cells activated. Very hard, removes all health fountains, replacing them with a single health flask, recharges instead. Times two more cells found on enemies. Was that the same thing here? No. Times two more cells found on enemies, improve the legendary forge, and lets you acquire the next boss cell. This is gonna be crazy, not being able to heal up as much. Necromancy is gonna be a must for me. Something seems to have changed, but uh, what would that be? Hello? The secret here is still the same. The secrets here seem, seem to be still the same. Uh, nothing special anywhere here. Anything here? Nah, it's just something fishy about that guy. Anything with you, buddy? Oh, we can now talk to him. Pick an aspect. Warning, equipping an aspect prevents you from unlocking new boss cells and flawless rewards during that run. Ah, I see. So, th these are just, uh, enhancements. Anything new here, though? No. 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 Well, I don't want to bother with these today. Maybe in another video. Uh, for now, ooh. Okay, grab that. Uh, grab the amulet. That's an that's a good amulet. Poison heals you instead of wounding you. Damn, that's actually kind of good. And I'm gonna grab the bow instead of anything else. I'm gonna keep this in my backpack just in case. Also, switch these around and let's go. I want to grab the cavern key first. Oh. No, go away. No, go away. Oh, my god. Why are you here? This guy is usually way later. Why did I dodge that way? I'm so stupid. Already losing up all my health. Uh, oh, it's not open? I have to open it up every single time? That's annoying. There we go. Cavern key. Cool. Because uh, in the previous video, we did almost reach the caverns, and then uh, I ended up just not going there. Because I didn't have the stuff for it. Oh, there was even more enemies. Huh. Whole bunch of new peeps. That's kind of scary. Ooh, a bone club here. You know what? You know what? I like this a lot more. The bow is pretty cool. Better than the lance. So I'll keep the bow. But I'll grab the bone because um, it does so much more damage in general. Ooh. Cool vampire killer weapon. I'll grab that. That's much more interesting. Yeah, I ain't getting a single door. I was two kills away, which is kind of sad. I'm for sure not grabbing, like, any doors this run, because it's way too difficult. I'm gonna grab the Great Owl of War, because that seems uh, a little fun, I guess. Uh, replace the Cocoon, because that one sucks. Can I summon you? Yeah, but I can't pet you, though, so that that's kind of sad. We have four cells left, which I'm gonna be using to grab new weapons. What should I focus on first, though? Oh, we have a tentacle. Ignores shields and projects you towards the enemy you in and inflict a critical hit if you attack again while bummed. Queen's Rapier. Attacks that hit target. Also slice through reality, hitting anything on their path. That is phenomenal. Wow. Right, I think I'm gonna grab the scythe first. Thank you. And then after that, because I want to unlock these because someone told me you should just unlock them. Because if I don't, then it's just kind of a waste. Because whenever I start a game, I don't roll into these weapons. Which, well, yeah, that makes sense. I should probably unlock them. I'm going to focus on the, the ones that have brutality on them. Because that's what I use the most. There we go. We got a whole bunch of weapons all of a sudden. I want to try out the claw first. Oh, it is two claws. So, uh, a few episodes ago, I got a weapon that was unique, and it had both claws in, uh, in one, like, weapon. So, it swings one on the right and one on the left. So, it, sw it would swing one on the freaking orange one and one the blue one. That was kind of cool, but I didn't really like it that much. Let's see the snake fang. That's pretty cool, honestly. Uh, first of all, sell this. Uh, grab the shield again. And whip sword form. A whip sword sword form. Can be transformed between two attacks, deals critical damage. Cool. Ooh. 
I see. Ooh, what about whip form? That one's pretty cool. I really like it. Does more damage on wounded targets and shoots an arrow in front of you. That's not too shabby. What about the Alucard sword? I feel like this one would be pretty fun. A bit of a slow one. A bit of a slow one. Uh, if the, if a target is in front of you and if we're in front of you in mid range, teleports you near and attacks, dealing a critical damage. I kind of want to try that one out. It doesn't do as much damage. Uh, I don't want you. Uh, grab the shield. Sell this. And the whip sword can go into my. Oh, it can't go into my backpack because it's a double one. That's a double whammy right there. That's sad. Well, selling you, I guess. Maybe we'll get it some other day. And here we go. Our first flask recharge. Yeesh. Sad. Alright, so from what I can see with Alucard's sword, uh, the weapon has a long range. So that's so the whole teleport thing doesn't happen that often. That's kind of cool. But at the same time, it is also a little sad. Because then I can't deal as many crits. But the, the ability is still pretty cool. Oh, and we can unlock the double cell door. I forgot about that. What do we have here? A few enemies. That's cool. Go destroy this bitch first. Ouch, that's a lot of damage. Oh, we have some cool weapons here. The Assassin's Dagger. Does more damage DPS-wise. But I really like Alucard's sword. Also, this one sucks because it does damage uh, to me. Uh, the strange, the, the great owl, not the strange owl, is kind of cool, but it's just, if, if I take damage, it disappears, so it's really useless. Ooh, Gardner's key, hello, secrets, sweet. Let's go check out those cool blueprints we just found and couldn't grab. Alright, so we have some money, and we have some blueprints. Wait, do we need three Gardner's keys? Yeah, it seems like it. So you need three gardener's keys for that blueprint. Interesting. I guess we'll we'll find them throughout the level. There's the second one. I've always seen that one. I never knew how to get it. Well, now I know, I guess. Alright, using up the second gardener's key here. And I don't know where the third one is. I have searched everywhere on the map. There's still one place to search for, but I doubt it's actually there. So, I don't know if there's like a secret to actually get it, but I guess we'll find out. Yeah, just as I thought, there isn't really uh, anything here. I think the one is up there, over the ramparts on the top of it, uh, but I can't get to it. I've seen spikes there, meaning they kind of want you to realize that place exists, but also not go there. I'm gonna go to the also area and see what we can see there. But yeah, the, the last gardener's key is definitely up there somewhere. Just, I need like a triple jump or something to get it, or maybe even more. Alright, let's grab Maw of the Deep. Cool, it's a survival weapon, so I'm pretty much... Oh no, it's now uh, not survival. Cool, the third attack throws a shock, rooting the enemy and causing it to bleed. Inflicts critical hits on rooted targets. I'm gonna grab that, instead of Alucard's sword. Because why not? I see. That's not too shabby, I kind of like it. It's a bit slow for my liking, but we'll see. And sure, we'll grab the ice crossbow too, since we already got it and have never used it pretty much. And all these shields, because they're cool. The rest is gonna go for the bat volley. Finish that one up, then go for the queen's bow. Alright, here is the crossbow. I'm actually gonna test it out right now. Ooh, it has two stuff. I see. You know what? I kind of like it. Freezes the enemy, which is super good. Man, this was this weapon's act this weapon kinda slaps, I'm not gonna lie. Fires piercing bolts, inflicts critical hits on and returning bolts uh, lodged in frozen enemies. That is pretty good. I'm gonna keep the Maw of the Deep in my backpack. Recycle this. I can't grab this thing with me though. Ice shield pairing freezes the enemy. And reflex projectile also frees the enemy. Dude, these are so good. I kinda really like all of these. But sadly, without a shield, everything is just so much harder. Alright. Uh, screw it. Sell everything. 
Uh, I cannot keep the bow, so uh, that's that's kind of sad. Grab them all of the deep. Uh, I'll I can't even put the bow inside my backpack because it's a two item, sadly. But maybe we'll use it someday. Keep this one in my backpack just in case it might come in handy. Ooh, flamethrower turret, dude. That's kind of rad. Holy crap! I don't know if I'll ever use it, but that's that's rad. Oh, I died in this place. Jeez, 59 cells lost. Died in a rift because I didn't think these are gonna freaking like retract. Or is it is it retract? Retract is going back. I don't know what the going up thing is called. Retract. Whatever. I don't care. That's kind of sad. Uh, I'm gonna try and do one more run. It is super hot in my room, though. But I I'm gonna go do one more run just for the fun of it. Because this has been uh, very, very fun. And now we have even more weapons to go ahead and try out. I want to try out the key, because I've never done that before. And this one? Well, I don't like you, so bye-bye. Alright, now with the bat volley unlocked, I shall grab... What is it called? The queen's rapier. There we go. Cool. And I'm gonna equip the volley instead of the this thing. Screw that thing. Ooh, we can actually go to the bank early this time, instead of going to the toxic sewers, which, you know what? Screw it. Let's go. The bank teller seems to be away. There is a small sign on the desk. Dear customer, I'm on paid leave. Please help us maintain order in our splendid facility using the key on the back of the sign. Thanks a lot. Feel free to borrow money. We are a safe and respectable bank. What a trusting little fellow. I'm not sure that's really safe in this line of business, but hey. Borrow money maybe later. Dude, the enemies here are so tough. Holy crap. I'm barely doing any damage to him. Oh, hello. Who the heck are you? That is just a library here, apparently. Um, we can't talk to him, so, uh, I don't know what this is all about. A security notice for the bank staff. Don't put food close to the merchant's bags. They seem to have been compromised. What does a bag eat, though? Ah, so they're trying to tell us about the, the mimics. An old book. An old dusty tome. Looks like it hasn't been used since its addition to the archives. It's not as partially unreadable. Only the cap. And a photo of one of those small green people with an impressive beard can be identified. Interesting. The Wealth of Kingdoms. An economy textbook. It seems to be the only book in the room that has ever- that have- the only book in the room to have ever been opened. Jeez, Charaz, can't speak. What's with that invisible hand? What do ghosts do with the economy? Huh. Oh, there's something here, though. A treatise on the Philosopher's Stone. Only the last page remains. That's how we can find the mythical Philosopher's Stone. What a journey. I see. That's about it. There's nothing else here. It's just a just a bit of a small bonus room. And I got killed by the same enemy as last time because I forgot that he can legit hit you everywhere and he apparently teleports to you. He wouldn't have been aggroed if it wasn't for the bat volley. Apparently the bat thing can go through walls. And so then you can hit enemies that you can't even see. Well, that's trash. Guess I'll never use that again. Uh, let me just take a look at this thing. Man, we have unlocked quite a few things just before I end the video. We have unlocked quite a few things and there's even like double, way more than double than what we have unlocked, which is insane. There's even things which I've never found yet. Probably some secret blueprints. They're all super cool. Well, that's gonna be pretty much it for today's episode, buddy. A lot of failure, obviously, but that's just because, well, it's very hard now, and I barely get any health. And also, my weapon luck has been kinda trash. Let's see what the weapons are for next time. Well, would you look at that. Guess we're gonna get a win on the next video. <laughs> Heck yeah. Still the same? Yep, still the same, baby. This is gonna be freaking amazing. Alright, I'm excited. 
I'll see y'all in the next one. Let's sign. Take care. Goodbye, everyone.